Hey guys, I am finally getting on here to do my January goals. I attempted multiple times, almost two weeks ago, and was having issues with the iPad, and then I was having issues with the phone, and finally figured that out, and then I was sick last week, um, and just didn't feel like sitting down and looking over my goals, because none of it was getting done last week. So, um, I made a list. I have 10 goals on the page um, for the month, now that the month is over half way done um i'll let you know how i'm doing on them and um everything as well <clears throat> my first goal is to organize the pantry and cupboards um i had a friend come in in august she did an amazing job it it worked fabulous for us but i didn't keep it up and that's that's a big thing with me is i can get organized i just can't stay organized so I need to go back through all the cabinets. Right now you open like the spice cabinet and spices will fall down on you or um, food coloring <laughs> fell down on me the other day. So um, I need to do that and none of that's happened yet this month. <clears throat> Daily quiet time. This is something that goes in waves. I will do amazing for a while and then slack off a little bit again and I can tell a big difference when I'm not spending time each day um, in my Bible. And so I was doing great there again until I got sick and um, that kind of fell by the wayside too. But I found this um, scripture writing. It's on sweetblessings.com. Sweet is not spelled out. It's just S-W-T. But she has daily um, scripture writings that you can write down. Um, my notebook's in my bedroom right now. Otherwise, I'd show you. But um, I just have a three ring binder and then um, have like today I would have written the 18th along the side of the paper and then the Bible verse and it takes me anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes <coughs> and I've really enjoyed that um, along with a few things I get emailed to me that I'll read so that was going really well I'm hoping today is the first day I have really felt better and I haven't coughed too much so I'm hoping tomorrow I can get caught back up um, and back in the swing of things with that my third item is keep track of needed store items. And I have done really good with this um, this year so far, you know, the whole 18 days we've had. This is an old Walmart list. I had one for Walmart, one for Aldi's, and one for Sam's Club. And at the bottom of Walmart, I have Dollar Tree listed because they're right next to each other in my town. Um, and so I'll just hang these up, and then we can go add things as we need. And this way, it's a, my kids know where to put it, know, oh, and I'll go through it, because something that we can get at Aldi's may get added to Walmart, and we go to Walmart after Aldi's, just because Aldi's isn't guaranteed to have everything on the grocery list sometimes. Um, so this has been great. And then with that, this is my menu, and I just have all of our lunches, our suppers, and then I don't make a lot of breakfast items. We do a lot of toast and cereal. Um, that's just what my daycare kids prefer. But on the weekends or for my family, I like to stock up on some stuff. So, and then what I do, like my lunches, I write down how many lunches I need. And then I just think of things that we like or um, I'm on Pinterest or Facebook and I see something pop up. I'll write that down. And then I don't have it on any of this, but if it's on, on Pinterest or in a certain cookbook, I'll write that next to it so I know where to find it that night. And I I used to go through and do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and what we were having. And that worked great for me at that time. But now it's just I get up in the mornings and think, okay, what sounds good today? Um, so lunches is just my daycare kids. And then suppers is for my family. And this also includes lunches on the weekends. Um, just so that way I know that this is just daycare food um, things and I don't get them mixed up. So this I love and um, I do anywhere from one week to a week and a half, two weeks, just depending on how adventurous I feel and kind of um, if I know like next week we're not going to be able to get to the grocery store on a certain day, then I'll do a few more days. Um, to that so that has worked out great and then this the menu just gets hung up on um, the refrigerator organize my playroom it is trashed because I was so blessed with so many toys the last couple months well about the last six weeks I've had so many people um, give me amazing toys I just haven't had the time to go through everything um, with being sick 
So it is trashed and it needs a lot of work done to it. Um, right now we've just been pulling toys out every day and playing in the living room, uh, which has also been nice. It's been a nice change since we can't get outside. It's just been something different. Let's see, what am I on? My fifth item is start collecting um, garage sale items. I said I was never having another garage sale. I do this a lot. Um, but we are going to Seattle, um, the sun, like end of the summer, just Adam and I. So um, this is a way that I can help contribute to that fund is by having a garage sale. So um, I need to start going through the house. And that brings me to number six was finish um, a book. And I'm just kind of not going to finish that book because my mother-in-law brought um, this book back to me tonight, um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And um, you've probably heard of the KonMari um, method, and this is that. So I am so excited to start with this book. Um, so I'm just going to set that other book aside for right now. She might tell me not to. I shouldn't have done that. But um, winter is a really good time for me to go through and deep clean a lot of stuff. Um, compared to like spring and summer because we're more busy with um, baseball and it's nicer outside. We tend to be outside a lot more. So I definitely want to start this now. So I am so excited for this and I will be doing some vlogging on that. And um, you know, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see some pictures over there. So I'm going to start this book. I don't think I'll finish it. I think you kind of do it chapter by chapter and organize that area of your house. So let's see here. I think I'm at seven is start blogging again um, this has been a passion of mine I loved it I kind of got out of the habit of doing it um, when our computer broke and we have another laptop now so I think it'll be easier for me to get back into blogging I'm gonna have a whole new website and I just have to kind of research like who I want to go through um, I used WordPress before and I think I want to continue with WordPress but I just have to do a little more research and um, make up my mind pretty much is all I have left of that because Adam's really encouraged me to get back into that. So that is definitely something I, if it's not up by the end of January, that'll definitely be, I'm working on it. And so it'll hopefully be up and running then by February. Number eight is be completely up and ready by 6.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday. I have daycare kids that come, they're supposed to come at 6.30, but they've been coming later, like 6.40, and I'm kind of using that time as a buffer, um, but I need to, I'm going to be completely up and ready, so I'm here for my kids, those 10 minutes that we could have time, just, you know, the three of them and me, so that is my goal. Hopefully, now that I'm feeling better, I won't be dragging myself out of bed when the alarm goes off for, like, the fifth time in, in the morning. Um, the ninth thing was to add money to our savings, and we did that the first week of January. We reached the goal that I had kind of set um, for this, you know, just a goal that I thought, oh, that would be cool to get to that that place. Um, so we already reached that, and we've been adding more. And then um, my last thing is to continue to be gluten-free. I went gluten-free a couple, probably like 18 months ago, two years ago. Um, it's probably two and a half years ago because now Ellie's been gluten-free for 18 months. And um, I need to get back there for health reasons. Um, I don't know if it'll help my blood pressure, but it sure ain't going to hurt it. And so just continue with being gluten-free. Um, I did really good the first week of January. And then with being sick, I didn't really eat too much of anything. Um, but so this week I'm getting back to 100% gluten-free. And um, I'm excited for that. I found this amazing flower that um, my family doesn't even realize that it's gluten-free. And if I buy it through the web, through the company um, online, it is so much cheaper than at Costco. So I'm excited for that. And I'll share some of our recipes if you guys are gluten-free with that, um, that we have found and everything. So those are my goals, kind of mid-month recap of how I'm doing on them. Um, so let me know what your goals are for the month. And then if you haven't already, subscribe down below. And then you can find us on YouTube, or this is YouTube, good grief. Find us on Facebook at Our Debt Free Life. And Instagram um, is amy.adam underscore 18. Thanks for watching, and we'll check in with you later.